The Democratic National Convention pulsed with energy. All eyes were on Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, the young congresswoman from New York. She stood tall, a beacon of progressive hope. Her journey, from bartender to political powerhouse, captivated the nation. This wasn't just a speech, it was a defining moment. AOC's words resonated with working-class Americans. She spoke of economic inequality, healthcare struggles, and the need for change. Her voice, strong and unwavering, cut through the political noise. She wasn't afraid to challenge the status quo, to speak truth to power. This was AOC's moment, and she owned it. The Republican Party, however, met her moment with disdain. They couldn't fathom how someone with her background could rise to such prominence. They scoffed at her past, her time spent as a bartender. To them, it was a mark of inadequacy, a sign that she didn't belong in the halls of power. Conservative pundits sneered, questioning her qualifications. They filled the airwaves with doubt, asking how a former bartender could possibly understand the complexities of governance. Shouldn't she be mixing drinks instead of policies, they taunted. Their jabs were meant to belittle her, to reduce her to her previous job title. Their words dripped with a familiar venom, a potent mix of sexism and classism. It was an attempt to undermine her credibility by attacking her roots. The GOP's attack was clear. They aimed to discredit AOC, to paint her as inexperienced and unfit for office. They wanted to create a narrative that someone from a working-class background couldn't possibly handle the responsibilities of a lawmaker. They underestimated her resilience, her ability to turn their insults into a rallying cry. She embraced her past, using it as a testament to her connection with everyday Americans. They failed to see the power in her story, a story shared by millions of Americans. Her journey from bartender to congresswoman resonated with many, symbolizing the potential for anyone to rise above their circumstances and make a difference. Her story wasn't just about her, it was about the countless individuals who work tirelessly in jobs that are often overlooked and undervalued. It was about the belief that everyone deserves a chance to lead, regardless of their background. In the end, their sneers only strengthened her resolve. She continued to fight for the people she represented, proving that her past was not a weakness, but a source of strength and inspiration. And so the question remains, should she return to the bar? Or has she found her true calling, turning the tables on those who doubted her and showing that leadership comes from all walks of life? AOC refused to be silenced. She addressed the GOP's attacks head on, her voice filled with righteous anger. Yes, she declared, I was a bartender. And you know what? I learned more about hard work, about struggle, about the needs of everyday Americans than you ever will in your ivory towers. Her words struck a chord. Here was a politician who understood the struggles of working people. She wasn't afraid to get her hands dirty, to work for every dollar. Her story resonated with those who felt ignored, left behind by a system that seemed rigged against them. The Democratic Party, once hesitant to embrace such a bold, progressive voice, found themselves at a crossroads. AOC's popularity was undeniable. Her ability to mobilize young voters, to energize the base, was invaluable. The party had a choice, cling to the past or embrace the future. They chose the latter. The Democratic Party, under the leadership of figures like Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren, began to shift. They embraced a more progressive agenda, one focused on economic justice, affordable health care, and a living wage. Section 5. The 2024 battleground will class Trump culture wars? The 2024 election loomed, a battle for the soul of America. The GOP, doubling down on culture wars and divisive rhetoric, seemed determined to turn back the clock. The Democrats, meanwhile, were betting on a different vision, a more inclusive, more equitable America. The battle lines were drawn. On one side, the GOP clinging to power, fueled by fear and division. On the other, the Democrats, energized by a new generation of leaders like AOC, ready to fight for a more just and equitable future. Section 6, Beyond the Bar, AOC's Vision for America. AOC's vision extended far beyond the bar she once worked behind. She spoke of a Green New Deal, a bold plan to combat climate change while creating millions of jobs. She called for Medicare for All, a healthcare system that would guarantee coverage for every American. Her ideas, once considered radical, were gaining traction. 
People were tired of the status quo, tired of a system that seemed rigged against them. They were ready for change, and AOC was offering a bold, progressive path forward. Section 7. The Power of Representation – Why Her Voice Matters For many, AOC's rise was about more than just policy, it was about representation. Her journey resonated deeply with those who felt marginalized and unheard in the political landscape. Here was a young, Latina woman from a working-class background, challenging the old guard, demanding to be heard. She wasn't just another politician, she was a symbol of change, a beacon of hope for many who had long felt disenfranchised. Her very presence in the halls of power was a powerful symbol of progress. It signified a shift in the political paradigm, where the voices of the underrepresented could no longer be ignored. Her presence was a reminder that the government should reflect the diversity of its people. She inspired countless young people, particularly women and people of color, to believe that they too could make a difference. Her story encouraged them to step into the political arena, to advocate for their communities, and to fight for their rights. Her story was a testament to the power of perseverance, a reminder that even in the face of adversity, anything is possible. She showed that with determination, hard work, and a clear vision, one could overcome obstacles and achieve great things. Her voice mattered because it echoed the dreams and aspirations of millions, and it continues to inspire future generations to strive for a more inclusive and just society. Section 8. A New Generation of Leadership, Challenging the Status Quo AOC was not alone. Across the country, a new generation of leaders was emerging inspired by her example. They were young, diverse, and unafraid to challenge the status quo. They were organizing in their communities, running for office, and demanding change. They were building a movement, one fueled by a desire for social, economic, and environmental justice. They understood that the old ways of doing things were no longer working. They were ready to fight for a better future, for themselves, and for generations to come. Section 9. The Fight for the Soul of America, a Party Divided The Democratic Party, once a bastion of centrism, found itself increasingly divided. On one side were the pragmatists, who believed in working within the system to achieve incremental progress. On the other were the progressives, emboldened by AOC's rise, who demanded more radical change. The tension between these two factions was palpable. The party's future, its ability to defeat the GOP and enact meaningful change, hinged on its ability to bridge this divide. Section 10. The Future of the Democratic Party – Embracing Change or Clinging to the Past The Democratic Party faced a critical choice – embrace the energy and ideals of its progressive wing or risk alienating the very voters it needed to win. The party's base was changing, becoming younger and more diverse. To succeed, the Democrats needed to adapt to embrace a more inclusive and progressive platform. The question was, would they rise to the challenge or cling to the past, risking irrelevance in a rapidly changing world? Section 11, a call to action, beyond the rhetoric, a need for real solutions. AOC's story, her rise from bartender to political powerhouse, was a powerful reminder that change is possible. Her journey inspired countless individuals to believe in their own power to make a difference. It showed that with determination and a clear vision, anyone could step into the political arena and advocate for the issues that matter most to their communities. But it was also a call to action, a call that resonated beyond the walls of Congress and into the streets, homes, and hearts of everyday people. It urged us to not just hope for change, but to actively work towards it. The fight for a more just and equitable America was far from over. It was a continuous struggle that demanded our attention and our efforts. Every protest, every rally, every community meeting was a step towards a better future. It would require more than just inspiring speeches and bold pronouncements. Words alone could not dismantle the systems of oppression and inequality that had been entrenched for generations. Real change required action, commitment, and a willingness to face challenges head on. It would require sustained organizing, strategic activism, and a deep understanding of the issues at hand. Grassroots movements had to be nurtured and supported, ensuring that the voices of the marginalized were heard and amplified, and a willingness to challenge the status quo at every turn. This meant confronting uncomfortable truths, holding those in power accountable, and never settling for half measures or empty promises. 
the future, as always, remained unwritten, a blank canvas waiting for the bold strokes of those who dared to dream and act. It was a future that held endless possibilities, shaped by the collective efforts of those who refused to give up. But one thing was certain, it belonged to those willing to fight for it. To those who understood that real solutions required more than rhetoric, it required action, perseverance, 